can you use your MSFS 2020 add-ons in MSFS 2024? That's the question many of us have on our minds, including myself. Now first, let's mention the marketplace briefly. It's been going through some fixes, which would take I don't know how long, hoping for a couple of weeks. But in the meanwhile, we can see if airports or aircraft can be used easily from 2020 to 2024 and how well it can perform. Now the airports what I'm interested in would be two of them today. This is an airport from Aero Designs and a nice one which was released last year I think. We're looking at the default airport, KPWM in short by the way, the Portland International Jet Port. Now our next airport would be the Philadelphia Airport, which is KPHL in short. It's a very simple process, we're trying to move the add-ons from the community folder from 2020 to 2024. The paths to both MSFS 2020 and 2024 will be included in the description below. It's important to know where your files are located and how they can be transferred. Now for MSFS 2020, the add-on files typically live in these paths. For the Microsoft Store version, it's under Users, Username, Your Username, App Data, Local, Packages, Microsoft.Flight Simulator, Local Cache, Packages, and Community. For Steam users, it would be located under Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, and then Microsoft Flight Simulator, Packages, and Community. In 2024, the parts have been slightly adjusted, so you may need to point the sim to your old add-on folder or manually copy certain files into the new directories. In my case, I'm manually copying them as I'm just trying it out. Now, as we see it, it's located on a local packages, Microsoft.limitless, then local cache, packages, and community. So when you go to this area, you see three different folders, official 2020, 2024, and community. This is where you need to drop your add-ons. I've placed the parts right here in the description below. So take a look when you get the chance. Now after copying the airports to the community folder, I restarted the sim. So make sure you restart the sim and you want to see if this works with a new sim. Now let's go back to the first airport what we saw which was from Aero Designs, the Portland International Jetport. KPW in short, and this doesn't really look 100% at all. The runway isn't great, it's definitely not suited for landing or takeoffs. You see animals. See, around 40% of the work on the surrounding areas are needed to be done here. But I do think that the airport by itself, meaning the terminals as we see it, gates, structures, within the scope of the area seems to be perfect.
Let's look at the other airport, which is from MK Studios. This is the Philadelphia airport. KPHL in short. But frankly, this looks perfect right from the start. Now, a very important note is that MK Studios are in the process of revamping the airports, which should be able to function in 2024, by the way. And looking at this list, we have about five of them, less than half a dozen ready at this point. But the Philadelphia airport, what we're looking at, isn't ready yet. So that makes it interesting. So what's different between 2020 and 2024 that makes this process a bit tricky? Now, MSFS 2024 introduces significant changes under the hood with updated graphics, new flight dynamics, and optimizations across the board. I'm quite surprised to see how smooth the airports are here. Now, add-ons designed for 2020 might not fully utilize these new features immediately. Some of them will work right out of the box, as we saw it with MK Studios, but others may need updates or tweaks to run properly in the new version. So devs might need to push out updates to bring older content up to par with the new standards of 2024. Although we can see the airport, it really can't function if the runway isn't great. Animals around, it does need work and this should be expected across the board on all airports. So I would say it would take a bit of time for devs to make this happen. Now the good news is that this is a situation that will evolve with time as devs release updates and the sim itself continues to refine and improve. If you're eager to use older add-ons, make sure to keep an eye on the devs' websites. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates. Until next time, bye-bye for now.